video. Six dangerous lies doctors are still telling their patients. Can you believe it? Catherine here, I've been helping kidney disease sufferers to take control of their health for more than a decade now. And it's time today to focus on a very sensitive, very delicate topic. Just a few days ago, a British newspaper, the Daily Mail, lent an alarm. In the next decade, and I quote here, the number of kidney disease patients requiring crucial, expensive dialysis will quadruple, plunging the whole British healthcare system into chaos. And do you know why they are worried about this? Because as we can see from their title, doctors are lying to their patients about their kidney disease status. So what they are telling us here is that if doctors do not become more upfront with their patients, we are going to be in serious trouble. Now guys, the reason why I talk about this is not because I don't trust doctors. It's because I think this newspaper is right about this problem. And also because I think you should know what the most dangerous lies doctors are telling their patients are. There are six points in today's video, six lies, increasingly more dangerous that you should know about. Why you may ask? Well, because these are six common problems you could easily solve if only you knew about them. Doctors never talk about these issues. They will lie instead of telling you the truth. But it could make a huge difference for you to know about them. Let's take as an example the article I've just shown you. Reporters from the Daily Mail believe that not nearly enough diabetes and high blood pressure sufferers are being informed in time about their kidney disease status. They believe that, and I'm with them on this, patients could have much better outcomes with kidney disease if only they knew earlier. Now guys, this is not the only way in which an outdated way of dealing with kidney disease is putting you at risk. The six points I want to unveil today are extremely important for your own health. So let's talk about one of the most dangerous lies out there, starting with a very serious problem that doctors really don't seem to care enough about. Number six, taking medications will deplete essential nutrients. Okay guys, I bet your doctor never talks about this. Among the numerous medications that most kidney disease patients take daily, some pose greater risks than others. But for certain medications, the possible risk and side effects could be immensely mitigated if you only knew how. I'm talking about those medications that actually deplete essential nutrients. You know, those things such as vitamins and minerals that your body needs to survive. Now, this is not an uncommon problem, but it's definitely an overlooked problem. Since we live in a world where heart medicines can have heart attacks as a side effect, it's not surprising that people don't care that much about the fact that taking a statin can deplete their vitamin D. But this side effect is way more dangerous than people realize. Why is that, you may ask? Because vitamin D deficiency is directly linked to faster kidney function decline and kidney damage, among other things. You don't want this vitamin to be too low if you care about your kidneys. And well, as we can see from this list, which is not complete by the way, there are many common medications that deplete vitamin D. Corticosteroids, primidone, but also some cholesterol-lowering drugs, laxatives in general, and even some blood pressure medications such as spinorolactone and nifedipine can cause your vitamin D levels to go down. And that's definitely not something you want. And vitamin D is just one of the deficiencies that taking medications may cause. As we can tell from this list, there are many prescriptions that can cause vitamin levels to go down. And don't think not even for a second that having low levels of any of these vitamins is not dangerous. For example, a B12 deficiency may cause anemia, another serious cause of kidney damage. So yeah, you absolutely don't want to be deficient in vitamin B12. 
But as we can see here, metformin, which is a first-line treatment for diabetes, can cause vitamin B12 depletion. But how many doctors do prescribe regular tests for vitamin deficiencies when prescribing these medications? I bet you already know the answer. Now, statins are also in the list of those medications that are known to cause nutrient deficiencies. They are linked to cocutane deficiency, which can also make statin side effects worse, muscle pain in particular. If you follow me here regularly, you probably already know how important cocutane is. It was even used in dialysis patients as a way to actually get them to stop dialysis. Yeah, it's incredible. Watch that video if you miss it, by the way, it's up here. So CoQ10 is clearly something you don't want to be deficient in, but not many doctors will tell you to supplement CoQ10 when taking a statin. Okay, what to do then? Clearly keep getting informed. I've linked the list of drugs that cause deficiencies I was showing you down in the description if you want to know more. But I also recommend you to do a search on Google for each of the medications you take every day, all right? They could be depleting an essential mineral or a vitamin and you will never know. Your doctor is never gonna tell you. Okay, so this is a very real danger that more doctors should take into account when prescribing medicines. And it also comes with another danger you should absolutely know about. Number five is ignoring vitamin deficiencies okay as we have seen vitamin deficiencies even insufficiencies are way more common and way more dangerous than most people think especially if you have kidney disease you have to get checked for vitamin d deficiency for some reason that i will never understand so many doctors forget to tell you about this until your bones start to crumble and your blood pressure reaches sky high levels Guys, if you have kidney disease, you will never get enough vitamin D from your food. And I know that I've talked about this issue a million times here on the channel, but today about 80% of CKD patients have insufficient levels of vitamin D. So I will talk about this issue a million more times if this is what it takes. So tell your doctor that you want to get checked at least for vitamin D levels, but there are other deficiencies you should know about. Magnesium deficiency is also very common in those with CKD and it can also cause high blood pressure and kidney damage. Not to mention vitamin B12. This is a vitamin you can't get from foods if you are following a plant-based diet, which means that unless you are supplementing it, you are going to be deficient in it. Folate, another vitamin of the B group, is also a very common deficiency because it can be caused by taking antihypertensive medications. It can cause anemia and faster progression of kidney disease. Iron deficiency is also very common and this brings us to the next overlooked danger you need to avoid if you want to save your kidneys. Number four is forget to get checked for anemia. Now guys, this is another one of those issues most doctors will somehow forget to tell you about. And this is even more serious than vitamin deficiencies. You see, according to recent statistics, up to 72.8% of those with kidney disease also have anemia. Unfortunately, another study tells us that only 4% of people with this problem are receiving the appropriate attention, which is frankly frightening. You are never going to improve your kidney health if you have untreated anemia. People with untreated anemia do not have a long life expectancy and it shocks me that doctors are not doing more to diagnose and treat this serious disease. Even worse, most people with iron deficiency anemia are not even having their iron levels checked. So what to do then? Well, keep in mind that the higher your stage of CAD, the more likely you are to have anemia. Make 100% sure your iron levels are getting checked regularly if you have CKD. And yeah, your doctor is supposed to know all about this issue. And yet, as we have seen, only 4% of people with anemia are receiving the appropriate attention. Yes, omitting anemia is one of the most dangerous lies doctors tell. Up next, something else your doctor is supposed to know everything about. Number three, some medications cause hyperkalemia. Okay, let's go from those things most doctors ignore to those most doctors will 
overprescribe. First of all, let's talk about antihypertensive medications and hyperkalemia or too high serum potassium levels. For too long, CKD patients have been lied about potassium with fruit and veggies, blamed for raising potassium levels. Raise your hand if you have been told that eating that extra banana or that baked potato could stop your heart. I know that a lot of doctors will still go by the old mantra, never let a slice of tomato pass your lips. But let's face it, that kind of advice won't help you at all. It's mostly a way to unload on you the blame for a failure of the whole healthcare industry. In fact, we know today that eating too much fruit and veggies is never a cause for high potassium levels. Eating fruit and veggies can actually stabilize your potassium levels. So why are my serum potassium levels still too high if my diet is not the cause, you may ask? Well, the medications you take are the most probable cause. If you read the label of your ACE inhibitor, you know, lisinopril, enalipril, and so on, or your ARBs, such as losartan, telmisartan, and so on, you will find something like this among the side effects. These drugs will raise your serum potassium, all right? Now, luckily for us, checking for serum potassium levels is something most doctors will actually do when they treat someone with CKD because having too high levels can even cause a heart attack. So they are very careful with this. Unfortunately, what some doctors still get wrong today is the cause of high potassium levels. No, it's not CKD that caused this issue and it's not the diet. So what is actually causing high potassium levels in people with CKD? As the current guideline for CKD management tells us, this serious problem is usually caused by having one or more of these issues. Constipation, inadequate insulin in those with diabetes, untreated metabolic acidosis, inadequate dialysis, and taking certain medications, especially ARBs or ACE inhibitors. So these you see here are the real causes of high potassium levels. Addressing them will solve your issue. Avoiding bananas and potatoes will not help with this. It will only make your kidneys work harder. Make sure you are not being lied about this. Okay guys, let's now talk about one of the most common forms of medical malpractice. This is our number two for today, which means that it's one of the biggest dangers people with CKD have to face. Number two, prescribing medications that damage the kidneys. Now guys, when it comes to prescribing anything at all to people with kidney disease, things get very messy. Doctors must be extremely careful with CKD patients and errors are more frequent than they want to admit. You see, many medications are cleared by the kidneys, all right? Which means that there are a lot of medications that will put your kidneys in danger. So what medications are the biggest threat to the health of your kidneys? Antibiotics are the example that comes to mind. Most doctors know very well that prescribing an antibiotic course to a kidney patient comes with several challenges. They need to be careful when finding the right antibiotic and the right course because kidney damage is almost always a side effect of antibiotics. Unfortunately, you really don't have much choice. If you actually need an antibiotic, you must be prescribed one. Waiting will most often only make things worse. Another class of medications you should know about is proton pump inhibitors or PPIs in short. Those are used to treat acid reflux and heartburn and they are very bad for the kidneys. Some names are Prilosec, Asifex, Nexium and others. They have been shown to raise the risk for kidney disease if taken for extended periods of time. If you need to take them regularly, ask your doctor if you can switch to H2 blockers like Zantac or Pepsid as they are less likely to damage the kidneys. Cholesterol medication statins also have some potential side effects for people with kidney disease as we have seen. Now the most dangerous medications, at least in terms of number of people affected, are NSAIDs, ibuprofen, nafroxen, aspirin, and many others. Never take this for extended periods of time if you have kidney problems. Usually Tylenol or paracetamol or acetaminophen is considered safer for people with CKD. Safer, however, doesn't mean completely safe. Unfortunately, it can still cause kidney damage, says a recent review of studies. It's safer than NSAIDs, okay, that's true. 
It's also the favorite choice of kidney patients usually, but you should still be careful if you need to use it for extended periods of time. Now guys, my advice here is to make sure that whatever your doctor prescribes you is safe for you. Don't be afraid to do your own research and to ask questions to your doctor about anything they prescribe you. And one of the reasons why you want to do this is because number one, the biggest risk for people with kidney disease is drug interactions. Drug interactions represent the single worst risk lurking out there when it comes to medications. The combination of NSAIDs, diuretics and ACE inhibitors is the perfect example of this danger. They are relatively safe if taken alone, well, except for NSAIDs, but when mixed together they can send you straight to the emergency room. This is called the triple whammy and it's incredibly dangerous. And I know that there are professional figures whose entire job revolves around double checking that patients aren't mixing prescriptions that shouldn't be mixed together. I mean, a huge part of the job of doctors and pharmacists is to double check this. But I will still recommend you to always double check that everything you take is safe and free from interactions every time you have a new prescription. Google is your friend and keep in mind that you can always consult your doctor if you have doubts. So that's the lesson here. Get informed about anything you take. Talk to your doctor and ask questions. Guys, if you want to know more about the hidden dangers CKD patients have to face, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.